So one of the things that we look for when we're recommending a shoe is to make sure that the shoe has what we call a foot shaped or wide toe box. One of the most important functions of the foot is to have what we call toe splay. Toe splay allows for, in particular, the big toe to be in alignment. The toes can actually move within the toe box of the shoe. We want that alignment so we can have a more efficient gait. One of the other mechanisms that is provided by having sufficient toe and forefoot splay is something called the tie bar mechanism of the foot. When walking in the foot goes into pronation or it lengthens and widens, it splays the forefoot. When this happens, there's receptors that are triggered and it basically tells the plantar fascia as well as the forefoot that we need to get into a more stiff position to be able to handle the load at push off. Without the ability for the toes to splay, you take away that mechanism of the foot and it just makes things more difficult. What else would go wrong if we can't be in a wide toe box shoe? If you're in a shoe where the toes cannot splay or when they are tapered, it doesn't take much to look at this foot and see how this would be number one, uncomfortable, and number two, inefficient. Think about balance. Is it going to be easier to balance when my toes are splayed or when they are compressed? Balance is a key factor for movement efficiency. I think another thing to consider is with the position of the big toe, we have essentially what's called the tripod of the foot. And if you imagine that the foot is a tripod and here's my big toe, when I'm in a shoe that brings the big toe over, now what's gonna happen is I have less stability and it's easier for me to fall over. So what we need is good alignment of the big toe to have stability out of the medial longitudinal arch. Now the last thing we wanna talk about is how to find out if a shoe has a wide enough toe box for you. And the easiest way to do this is to pull out the sock liner. When you take out the sock liner and put your foot right on top of it, you should be able to see whether your toes fit within the shape of that toe box. If instead that sock liner has a tapered toe box, what you'll find is that the toes start hanging off the edge. And that's when you know when the foot is inside that shoe, it's affecting the position and the shape of the toes.